welcome to a new episode in this episode we will be seeing what are the different ways by which we can communicate between different components so basically there are four ways as i mentioned in the image first is the parent to child if we have parent to child relationship then we have two ways to send data from parent to child we can make use of the input to get data from child to parent we can make use of the output emitter by emitting event with that emitting event we can send the data also from child to parent second is by creating instance of the view child of that component okay third is by using getter setter in the common service if we have a common service in all the component we can make use of the getter setter function create an variable and store values inside that object okay and same we can retrieve by using the key name of that object the last one is subject and subject behavior of rxjs so it is nothing but an again emitter but it will emit data type of the observable okay so we need two two function first function to set data using next value and second function which will be returning that subject as an observable okay so these are the almost all possible ways by which we can communicate through different component in respect to that component both the component should be in the dom at a present time then only we can achieve all of these different ways so let's see the implementation so first i will go through with the implementation i have already developed all the code because it will take time so much time to if we try to do in the video itself so i will go through the explanation first for all the four ways then i will explain the code okay so first way if you can see let me explain you the structure the add record this is the side panel what you are saying it is the second component okay so this component is app side panel and in the left side we have the parent component that is app style okay complete is the app uh, app ng style component and inside that we have app and app side panel component okay so first is the input and the output okay so input is nothing but if we have a input property let me go to the code this is my side panel so this is the input property header okay so if you can see here in ng class header is a class header is the input property and we are sending add record string value to this header com side panel component so same you can see here add record let me rename it add employee record let's save it so i am in the ng class so you can see add emp record is there because this is from parent we have sent data to the child next is from child we will receive data to the parent okay so for that in side panel component we have an out we have created an output that is on submit you can see output is there and it's uh, what we are going to return it is an event emitter and data type of any you can provide if you know that you are going to receive uh, you, if you are going to send the string type you can uh, you can attach the string data type here okay so in the side panel you can see on save button this is a function i am just emitting my output this dot on submit dot emit with the emit i am sending the data okay now this on submit this is an event emitter we have to catch it here okay this is the parent component and we have to pass the function to catch the record if you can see here is one parameter dollar event this is the event or this is this is the parameter which we will be sending from the child and we will receive it here so on this component you can see i have a parameter let's see this now suppose i provide value okay so on submit i have that output event emitter so if i click on the submit you can see currently i'm in the side panel component on save function here i'm what i'm doing i'm just emitting my output this dot submit dot emit with that emit i'm sending the text box value okay once i click continue here event callback will trigger in my parent component that is ng class component so you can see in record parameter i can see the value so this value this text box value i can get in this parent component this is from child to parent okay 
this covers our first way first by sending input using square bracket then getting output from getting output from the child to the parent using output event emitter second is using view child okay by creating view child so in the ng class page i have done that let me open the side panel the same component i'm using it here okay so get on get data one on this button click i have created let me show you that in ng class first this is the way how i have created view child so view child then my component name static is the by default value we have to pass then this is my object name of the view child and again my component name so this i am accessing in here get data one this dot add it add record component this is my view child name dot all the values i get if you see if i press the dot you can see all the variables and all the values i have i can see it here out of that i am accessing student name also so all the variable declared inside this component you can access it here also okay so this is using view child we just have to create the view child so normally we provide id or uh, class selector here but instead of that we are just passing the component name okay and this is my view child name so let's see this okay so on click of get data one you can see i'm in the ng class component so if i hover here you can see all the variable name i have this is the first header and the student name okay so i can get the what are the properties or what are the variables i have declared in that component i can get in the parent component using view child okay this is second way third is getting data or setting data in the common service and we can shuffle it up let's see let me show you the code for that so let's see i have a common service that is user service in all the component okay so in user service i have created a variable common data with data type any and in the constructor i have just initialized it with one property name is equal to it because it needs initialization by default it is undefined so we need initialization so that's why i have created it okay so we have created two function get item and set item in get item we have provided only one parameter that is key so this function is returning this dot common data and whatever the key we pass so let's say in common data we already have name parameter and if i send the name parameter here so what i will get empty because i we don't have anything okay second parameter set item we have two parameters key and the value so this function is going to set add a new key to our common data and a value also okay suppose my new value is student date student name and what are the values so this dot common data will have a new key student date and value respective to that okay so let's see the implementation let's see a b c is the value set to service okay on click of it i have called my service function set to service you can see this is my local function from side panel component now here i have what i have called user service dot set item so since we are storing the value in my service variable so we have to send the two parameter you can see key and the value key name is student name and the value what we have in the text box okay let me debug okay so in the main component we have one button on that button we have called service function to get the data we have stored just now so on click of it you can see i have called this dot user service dot get item so get item requires only one parameter that is key okay so let debug it so you can see in common data we have two name is the default we have set and second what we did what we have said just now student name is the key we have in that object and along with the value so what we are doing we are just returning the value so you can see if i copy whole line so i get the value a b c and we are just returning that value okay so here in data you can see the value 
सो दिस इज द थर्ड वे बाय यूजिंग गेटर सेटर इन द सर्विस लॉजिक इज सिंपल वी हैव टू क्रिएट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड वी कैन ऐड मल्टीपल कीज डेटा कैन बी स्ट्रिंग आर ए एनीथिंग ओके but this will be valid until we refresh the page if we refresh that will be that service instance will be again initialized so data will be vanished okay so it has a limited purpose let's see the na last one okay so now last one is using subject so subject comes from the rxjs okay it is again what we can say event emitter type of data but it event but it uh, emit the event of type observable data okay so we can subscribe to that okay so let's see we have created an subject and subject name is student subject emitter okay we have created two functions send message and get message send message is having only one parameter because just like the set uh, set item we will be sending some data from originator okay and we will send that to this subject so this dot subject emitter dot next we have created an object text and with the value whatever we have sent then second method get message it is returning an uh, data type of observable and what it is returning whatever the subject is this dot sub subject uh, student subject emitter dot as an observable so it is returning subject as an observable okay so one thing here is in side panel on the last button sorry in the second button on emit we have used that so on emit you can see this dot user service send message and we have to send the message pretty simple like set service because here we have to set the uh, we have sent the key also but in case of here we just need to send the value okay so now in ng style where we have subscribe to it sorry in ng class i think we have subscribed it yes so in constructor you have to subscribe like this so this dot user service get message and we can subscribe because get message is returning if you can see here it is returning data type of observable so we can subscribe to it okay so in subscribe you can subscribe like this and in message dot text we get the data let's see this now ng class okay demo i'm clicking on emit using subject the middle button okay so this is this currently we are in side panel component i'm debugging it okay so you can see i am in the send message component message i have got student emit and i'm setting the object as text and whatever the inside the text value we will have the message okay once i click on continue you can see the message button get message function will execute okay so here you can see i got the message this is in ng class component so we have emitted data from side panel component and got the data in parent component without doing anything this is because of subject and rxj so you can have multiple subscription so if i have two or three component and in all three components i need this value on click of this button so i just have to do this subscribe in all three component constructor there i can get the data okay so these are the different ways by which you can pass data between different component it is again based on if it has the parent child relationship you can make use of the input and output if you don't have then you can go for the service or the subject okay so that's it from today's video thank you guys